Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Dishonored Blind in this final episode of this recording batch. So comment, comment, comment away. Um, but yeah, that's my stats for this past mission of the High Overseer Campbell. Let's continue on and see where... Uh, see what's going on at the Hound's Pits Pub now. At the Hound Pits Pub now. Uh, Samuel brought us back. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Oh. Wait, what happened? Why did it, why was there a gun sh Who are you? My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. No, I didn't kill him. I, I expected anything else. I, my uncle was better to me than my father. I didn't he kill him. I him. made him pass out. Many people joined the watch for the wrong reason. I did not kill him. He wanted to do good for people. No. I wish I had paid more attention the last time I talked to him. I don't even remember what we said. I didn't kill him! I used a freaking sleep dart on him. He did not die. Come here. Everyone who tangled with High Overseer Campbell came away Girl, scarred and scared. This is going to that work, overblown hypocrite. To the Lord Good riddance. Okay, fine. Screw you. I saved your uncle. I just hit him with a sleep dart. He did not die. Where are you going? I want to... Bank the high overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. I did not kill your uncle. Don't give me that face. Screw you. What's in here? I'm not reading that. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Piero. No, I will not sign off on these purchases. A bag of powdered crystal? Tivian ore? What's wrong with the metals of crystal? King Sparrow feathers. If you need feathers, sacrifice your own pillow. Maybe at the academy, everything you need was paid for by tariff and handed out willy-nilly, but this is my bar for what, or, or what's left of it, and we're operating on a budget. We're running low on oil, food, elixir, building materials, and everything else, so you've got to slow down. While I'm footing the bill, I will not approve your purchase unless they are absolutely require, required. No more copper wires or special herbs. If you need those things, go out and scavenge them. Half the city is in ruins, so no one's going to miss any of that, old, of that odd crap you seem to need. Hey, 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 Piero. Can I be of service to you? Yes. I need some darts. Let's see what else? Yeah, I can buy runes. Okay. Just in case I need to kill people from afar, I'll take a lot of those, too. Uh, do you not have any of the health elixir? You don't. Fine. I'll be, I can deal. I have five of those. I can deal with just five. Let's see what these guys got to talk about. What's up, y'all? You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corbin. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location... I didn't the grab the journal! Can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere. Waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well earned rest, Corbo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Sleep sounds good. I could use the rest. 
go to bed. The quick access. We, okay. Overseers undone. Martin is on his way to join the Loyalists, and Campbell's fate has thrown the Overseers into disarray. Decoding the High Overseer's Journal may reveal any number of strategic secrets, most notably the location of the rightful heir to the throne, Emily Caldwin. Learn about weepers. I feel like I'm going to be back, back in the void, am I? No, I'm, I'm awake. I'm just normal awake, not awake in the void, I think. Yeah, let's give me my stuff. There's crap everywhere in here. What's in here? Ooh, there's a thing here. Possessed whale oil. Processed whale oil. I am stupid. Apricot tart. Cousin Anna. Morgan and Curtis continue to resist my efforts and are no longer responding to my letters. The servants tell me they've been absent from the matter for some weeks. My brothers have always been arrogant, utterly convinced of their own certainty, and they don't really give two figs for anyone else's, for anyone else in the world. Unless they want something and can't take it outright. But this disagreement over the upcoming parliamentary vote has reached a crisis point. Up till now, the Lord Regent has been somewhat restrained in his authority. At least where the holdings of the gentry have been concerned. If Morgan and Curtis vote in his favor, the law will be changed and we will all be at risk. Aristocracy or not, I implore you, if you know where they are, to speak with them. Lord Trevor Pendleton. Okay, that wasn't... I mean, it's a nice little bit of backstory, but it's nothing... Seem, nothing seems too important. You're lucky I keep you on. It is every citizen's what? duty to report treasonous speech ten and actions. The state hey, Bieros. Thing. Thing. I think we're in Bieros' place. Dang it! This is not where I need. Oh wait, here's a door. No, we're not in Bieros' place. Um. Okay. Let's go out here and talk to the admiral. Damn it! Not where I needed to go. Okay. Where are you at, Admiral? There you are. So I was kind of going the right way. Can I knock you out? I can choke her out. Don't know why I would need to, but I can. Now we're getting somewhere. Sup, gentlemen? Sup again, gentlemen? Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. I already have that. Well, let's let's go for it. Seriously, serious. And you lock me in? Oh, okay. What good does that do? I can't I can't hop back out. Ugh, fine. I'll just move forward. Let's get my stuff out. Oh, wait, new area. There are some runes. Hagfish eggs. Better stay on the thing here. I can turn that off for now. I'm just gonna go explore. Th I hear him. What's got? What can I see? Yep. What is that? Who is that?
That's not disgusting at all. They're pu- they're- they're puking. And there's flies everywhere. Where the hell did you come from? I'm gonna knock this person out. Yikes. Let's not disturb- Where did you come from? Oh, he saw me because I came and knocked this one out. No! Idiot! Crap. An ancient- I'm sorry, but I won't be here for the next meeting, or ever again for that matter. What happened here was unnatural and makes me sick to recall. I left the result of our labors here for you to keep, but I expect the rat that the rats will consume it before you- Before your return. Goodbye. Hey, it's a rune! I got a rune, I got a- Whoa, whoa, can't see, can't see, can't see. Got another rune, and... Bejeweled hagfish- Bejeweled- I don't know what that word was. Something hagfish eggs. Corvo, out of the water! So I learned about the weepers now. Is that all I needed to do? Was it that it was just... So I just have to go back now? Is that all? I guess so. I mean, that was... I didn't kill him. Yeah, I, okay, I didn't kill him, so that was a plus. I didn't want him... I didn't want to just kill him. They didn't want to just murder him. I could push them in the water and let them drown, though. I could do that. But... No... But nah. Hey, hey, hey. There's something down here for me. Okay, I'm gonna just keep on walking over to this chain thing and climb up. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Nah, Overseer Mark is nah. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Nah, I'm just good at what I do. Sup, gents. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks. For my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Alrighty, uh, gonna make it a little short episode here then. I'm gonna call it there because we're gonna start getting into some interest, some new stuff whenever we get, whenever we do that. So, instead of having to cut it right then, I'll just go ahead and cut it now. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Dishonored Blind. Again, this is gonna be the last episode of this recording batch, so please leave comments in the, so please leave your comments of stuff that I'm, of ways I can improve my playing. And hopefully we can continue to continually improve in the world of Dishonored. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this episode and hope you tune in next time for the continuation of our little adventure here. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next part. Peace!